2018 Lexus GS350 review. Comfort, sophistication and gratification come together inside multi-talented 2018 Lexus GS350. The 2018 Lexus GS350 is really a multi-talented luxury sedan that tartfully blends comfort, sophistication and gratification. Despite its advancing age, the actual generation has existed for five years. The GS still constitutes a compelling choice using a well-appointed interior, eager powertrain, sure handling as well as a smooth ride. All-wheel drive can be acquired for those who often drive in wet weather, and there is even an F-Sport model that ratchets in the sporting quotient without sacrificing much comfort. The heart on the GS350 can be a 311 horsepower V6 engine. It lacks the dominating thrust within rival sedans with turbocharged or supercharged six-cylinder engines nevertheless impresses having a smooth power delivery. Recent tech and safety upgrades, say for example a full suite of driver aids including adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking and lane control, have the GS a compelling choice than in the past. There are not any significant changes with the 2018 model. Although Lexus now includes its roadside and emergency assistance program free for any full 10 years, that ought to offer additional peace of mind with the long driving to which the GS is indeed well suited. With its incremental upgrades year over year, today's GS is all the more luxurious, smooth, comfortable and engaging laptop or computer was at the start. What's new? The Lexus GS350 rolls into 2018 without significant changes. With two trim levels and multiple options, it is easy, and dear, to equip the GS350 nicely. But keeping it simple with all the base rear-wheel drive GS350. It comes well equipped and supplies the highest fuel economy from the bunch. Unfortunately, you simply can't get the base RWD model with leather upholstery or heated and ventilated seats, though the faux leather seats remain really nice. One option we're feeling strongly about would be the head-up display, that is especially useful on long trips. If you live inside an area with cold and snowy weather, though, the GS350 AWD while using added premium package will be the all-weather version with the same car. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Lexus GS350 midsize luxury sedan is available in two main versions, Base and F Sport. Both are provided by either rear wheel drive or all wheel drive. Standard equipment for your rear wheel drive GS350 features a 3.5 litre V6 engine, 311 horsepower, 280 pound feet of torque, an 8 speed automatic transmission, 18 inch wheels, LED headlights, a sunroof ambient LED cabin lighting, keyless ignition and entry, dual zone automatic climate control, power adjustable front seats, heated and ventilated, leather upholstery, driver seat memory settings, a power adjustable steering wheel plus a power rear sunshade. Standard tech content includes Bluetooth, the remote touch infotainment interface, a navigation system, voice controls, smartphone app integration, a 12.3 inch display screen and also a 12 speaker speakers. Various driver safety aids, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert along with the Lexus safety system plus suite of advanced active security measures, may also be included. Note that within the all wheel drive GS350, leather upholstery is optional by way from the premium package, that also includes the heated and ventilated front seats and power rear sunshade. A 6-speed automatic transmission is utilized on this model instead with the 8-speed. The rear-wheel drive F-Sport ups the ante on handling with 19-inch wheels with summer performance tires, a sport-tuned adaptive suspension and greater front brakes. It offers the option for four-wheel steering or maybe a limited slip rear differential. The F-Sport has more aggressive front and back bumper and grille styling, power sport seats and different interior trim pieces. All-wheel drive can be acquired, however it's not quite as sporty as well as doesn't have the option for four-wheel steering and the limited slip rear differential. On all GS350s, key standalone options include parking sensors, 
limited Mark Levinson sound system and also a power operated trunk. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions, although trim levels share many aspects. The S on this review provide our full ensure that you an extended year-long test in the 2013 Lexus GS 350F Sport, 3.5 litre V6, 6-speed automatic, RWD. Note, since this test was conducted, the GS 350 has gotten some upgrades, including an 8-speed automatic transmission to the rear-wheel drive models, a much more sophisticated fuel injection system, engine upgrades that added 5 horsepower, LED headlights plus more capable entertainment system software. Our initial findings remain broadly applicable to this particular year's GS350. Driving The Lexus GS350 F Sport is nimble and moves out nicely, however it is also effortlessly smooth and poised. We have mixed feelings in regards to the rear steering, but no less than it's only a solution. Our F Sport summer tires are considered unsuitable for cold climates, but an all wheel drive version can be acquired. Acceleration The 3.5 litre V6 packs considerable punch across an assortment, it's ultra smooth, plus it makes great noises if you rev it. Before the recent power and transmission upgrade, we measured a 0 to 60 miles per hour duration of 5.8 seconds, which lags slightly behind the performance of class leaders. Braking The GS350's firm and sure brake pedal tends toward jumpy, nevertheless, you'll watchily become accustomed to it. The car does exhibit some nose dive during harder stops, and our measured 0 to 60 mile per hour panic's top distance is around average for premium sedans with three season summer tires. Steering We found the optional four wheel dynamic rear steering being quick and precise yet very light which added approximately an overeager feeling which will not be for everybody. That said, our GS still cruised arrow straight around the open road, plus it could make exceptionally tight U-turns. Handling In F-Sport trim, the GS350 drives such as a much smaller and lighter car. It feels nimble and delivers impressive cornering response, there is however also a lot of grip and overall stability. Drivability The 6-speed automatic shifts with incredible smoothness. Sport and normal driving modes offer drivers a range of steering effort and throttle response maps. Note, we have not yet evaluated the 2018 model's 8-speed transmission. Comfort Though the Lexus GS350F Sport bills itself to be a sport sedan, it won't abandon comfort from the pursuit of achieving the title. The F Sport seats are snug, the ride is smooth, and also the cabin is often quiet and well ventilated. Seat Comfort The F Sport leather sport seats proved being a highlight, sufficiently bolstered for sporty driving however comfortable and easy to leave. The seat bottoms deliver excellent thigh support, though some drivers found them a tad flat and they're heated and ventilated. Ride Comfort An adaptive variable suspension system helps this GS350 split the visible difference between sport sedan and proper Lexus. The ride is usually smooth and controlled with little harshness on rough roads. Noise and Vibration A little road noise emanates from the big, and optional, summer performance tires, but it really stops in need of being bothersome and there's precious little wind noise, even at elevated highway speeds. Climate Control Dual zone climate controls are prominently located, clearly marked and simple to understand. The air vents release a nice level of air, and rear passengers have a very pair of their particular. The F Sport package adds heated and ventilated seats, and also a heated tire is optional. Interior the GS is blessed which has a fairly roomy and comfy interior that oozes quality and refinement. There's hardly any to complain about in addition to one thing, the initial but awkward mouse style interface that controls the entertainment and navigation system. Ease people. Most from the GS 350's switches, 
buttons and knobs are super easy to use and understand without cracking open the owner's manual. But there is one prominent sore spot that can take points off, the mouse style infotainment system controller. It's novel but demands an excessive amount of attention. Getting in, getting out. There's a great deal to like in this particular category. The doors open wide, the sills are narrow and, as sedans go, the seats are comfortably high. It's generally super easy to get in or out with no need to stoop or do deep knee bends. Driving position. Numerous seat adjustments and also a power tilt and telescoping steering wheel using a fairly generous adjustment range got easy for just a variety of drivers to stay in comfortably with the controls having a clear view out above the hood. Romanus. The GS350 is really a sizable car, by having an interior to suit. Up front you will find lots of shoulder room in addition to hip, head and leg room. The story is significantly the same within the back seat, unless you plus the person seated directly ahead both are quite tall. Visibility The generous glass area provides each GS excellent forward and side visibility, and also the rear three-quarter blind spot is minimal because on the carefully sculpted rear roof pillar. Front and rear parking sensors plus a rear camera take care on the rest. It has fantastic high beam headlights for that open road, too. Quality Everything you touch inside the Lexus GSF Sport looks high quality and purpose built. The important pieces such as the leader, shifter and in many cases the knee side from the center console offer extra padding and quality leather. Utility The GS trunk is usefully shaped and quite big, nevertheless, you may not enjoy it if you're the type who folds on the rear seats to card larger items here and there. The GS can't accomplish that. The interior offers a reasonable and not memorable volume of storage, plus it plays well with many child safety seats. Small item storage. Has a good glove box, two cup holders ahead on the shifter along with a medium sized center console that opens wide. Front door pockets really are a decent size, nonetheless they won't hold a water bottle, rear door pockets are small and can accept a bottle. The rear center armrest features a storage bin and cup holders. Cargo space. The trunk is pretty spacious which is wide nearby the mouth, deep across the floor and accessible via a broad opening. Hidden hinges won't crush bags. The thing is, the spine seat backs don't fold to expand the area except to get a slender ski pass through that seems just like a consolation prize. Child safety seat accommodation. Has two pairs of latch anchors in the bottom and three tether anchors across the top. Bottom latch anchors are tightly recessed between your seat cushions, though. Rear legroom is generous enough for many rear-facing seats to suit, but tall front occupants might have to scoot up some. Technology This year the Lexus Safety System Plus suite of driver aids has become standard on all trims. We have not yet tested recent improvements in voice controls and phone pairing software, even so the performance in the original causes us to be confident. We're still not fans with the audio and navigation controller. Audio and navigation The Mark Levinson audio system sounds great, and yes it has simple volume and tune knobs. Higher audio functions and also the navigation system require use of a quirky interface it's not that easy make use of without diverting attention clear of driving. The vast screen permits tri-zone image display. Smartphone integration. New changes on the software have been demonstrated to improve Bluetooth bearing and hardwired USB connection speed. We have not yet tested out this latest version. But we expect good performance for the reason that older iteration performed reasonably well. Driver aids. The previously optional Lexus Safety System Plus is standard. It includes adaptive cruise control, automatic emergency braking with pedestrian detection, intelligent high beam control, and lane departure warning with mitigation. Blind spot monitoring with cross traffic alert is standard, too. Voice control. New voice control software is introduced, 
but we have not yet fully tested it. The last version was stilted and left room for improvement. Those having an iPhone still have selecting holding the voice button longer to directly engage Siri on the phone and produce calls like that.